Hi, we've gotten a lot of requests for the basket weaving hairstyle that we did recently. We're going to show you how that's done. <clears throat> it's a lot like the Princess Piggies Swedish Piggies that we've done previously. What you want to do, you want to make sure you have wet hair. Go ahead and create a little part at the top of the head. You can do it right in the middle. We've done ours a little off center. And then go ahead and make two piggies on the sides by just going from the part down to the ear and putting that kind of in a low elastic so that you've got two parts. The rest of your hair, you're just going to comb straight back like so. Now what you're going to do, keep your comb handy because you're going to want to make sure you have everything smooth as you're working. Get these two ponytails, smooth them back, and then you're going to bring them across like you're tying your shoe. Now because this is the top section and it's got farther to work around, I'm going to actually twist that one more time on each side so that we've got a twist. Now I'm just going to pull it tight. I'll have my princess hold this side while I come over here, gather a little bit of hair from the side, and we're going to combine it in with little clear elastics. And that's just going to secure that side over there. Just like so. We'll do the same on this side over here. Grab a little bit of hair. Get your elastic. and then just secure it into place. Now this is going to be the top part of our basket weaving. There's no actual weaving involved in this hairstyle. It just gives that illusion and looks really cool. So now we've got two piggies that we're working with again. I'm going to go ahead and smooth those out on each side so we don't have the little lumpies. Bring those around the back, just repeat the steps like you're tying a shoe. I'm only going to wrap one more time on that one. Have your princess hold the side, grab a little more hair just below that previous part that you grabbed, and secure it into an elastic. Now you'll want to make sure that you do this with wet hair because that gives you the best result. You get less of the little ends that pop up. Makes it a lot easier to work with. Okay, now after you've done your first two sections like we have here, you can, from that point, just start wrapping it once, just as if you were tying your shoelace. You shouldn't have to do extra wraps because it won't need to go as far around the back of the head. So let's comb those out. Now, I mean, you could leave it at this point, even that is cute. But we're going to go ahead and move forward and show you how it's going to continue to look. Okay, hold that for me, sweetie. You're going to be coming farther down the head with these sections that you're gathering. Go ahead and turn this way for a sec so we can see. You're just pulling up little pieces from the side. Okay, hold that tight. And you're welcome to use um, any type of palmade or anything that you think might hold your princess's hair better too. Um, my daughter has really thick hair, so she doesn't have any issues with it slipping. But if you do, you can use like a Garnier Fructisse cream or any other type of cream that you like to use that would help just kind of cement that into place so that it doesn't slip around. We haven't had any issues with it as far as falling out during the day. We've done this style a couple times and it seems to hold really well and look really pretty throughout the day. I just want to get through a couple more of these so you can kind of see how we end it. So we'll smooth those out. Now, I'm going to continue the process going down, but I'm going to show you what you would do if you were all the way down here at the bottom. 
Let's just do this last one. Okay, honey, I'll have you hold that side. Now, what you would do if this was your down hair at the bottom, your last section, you just grab the last half of hair and comb it up. Take your elastics and you're just going to secure that into place. on each side. So there's that half. And this half. Now obviously when you do it on your daughter, make sure that you go ahead and finish off the rest of these. Just because of time reasons, we're going to go ahead and just stop here. But when you finish it, you're going to have rows and rows and rows of these and it's going to look like basket weaving. And you can also look at our blog, www.princesspiggies.blogspot.com, to see some finished product pictures. Now, you can leave them just as piggies, or you can bring them in and do a four strand braid, or whatever you think would be cool to finish off your braid. It's totally up to you. And that will just finish the look for you. And that is how you do the basket weaving. Feel free to finish off any way you like. And you can visit us on Facebook at Princess Piggies or on Pinterest at Princess Piggies. Thanks!